Hey guys, it is Corona Gate uh, day six. I've got some chewing gum in, but hey, there you go. And Benjamin's with me. Uh, he's just doing some coloring. I'm trying to record this quickly as he is helping himself to my books. Um, but I just wanted to say it was just a great Sunday today. Uh, probably one of the best Sundays that I've actually had in the 11 years I've been a pastor. And that is because not only has the weather been great, not only did church online go really, really well, um, but I normally have to preach morning and evening. I don't have to. I've got a preaching team, but I normally do on two different texts or topics. So it's really busy. It can be quite stressful because church, unfortunately, has become this kind of consumeristic thing where people want to get as much as they can from it. And it puts a lot of pressure on churches to have this kind of Sunday experience, which is able to match some mega church like Willow Creek or Saddleback or Hill Songs. But actually, that's not really what we're into. But we get sucked into that. But it's just been an awesome day. And what the Bible says is that we should remember the Lord's Day or the Sabbath and we should keep it holy. Now, some people will think that means that kids shouldn't be allowed to play football on a Sunday. Uh, it means that you shouldn't be allowed to, to, you know, watch the golf on a Sunday which I don't know why anyone in the right mind would watch golf because it's boring. But anyway, that's what they think. But the issue with that is if we cut off all of the things we did on Sunday, then we wouldn't have electricity and we wouldn't have hospitals and people would die. And the Westminster Shorter Catechism says that Sunday was for worship, and um, but it did not neglect the fact that we still needed to continue to do works of mercy and works of necessity. So Sunday should basically be a fun day. It's supposed to be the best day of the week. Um, you know, um, when all this craziness goes over, you know, go out for a walk and have a cooked breakfast and go to church and study and hang out with friends and just let it be fun. And, and I just think for myself going forward, I'm not sure what the world looks like going forward because everything's so uncertain. Um, but I do know this, that I'm not going to allow my Sundays to be taken uh, from me. Am I still going to preach? You bet I am. Uh, the Lord has called me to preach. But I think my philosophy for life and my philosophy for ministry is going to be a little bit different. So I hope you had an amazing Sunday. If you didn't, I hope that every Sunday from this point is an amazing one. So God bless you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Keep washing your hands. Bye.